it going? This is Tim, bringing you guys daily deals with Tim, where I talk about tech, crypto, and stock deals, all for you guys. And before I start, this is my personal opinion and not a financial advice. So for today, we're going to talk about 10x and their recent development update. Uh, it came out on September 8th, 2017, a couple days ago, and they start off with uh, Julian's AMA. So Julian Hosp is one of the um, co-founders of 10X and he's a marketer for 10X. So he goes around uh, doing these uh, AMAs and live videos and uh, interacting with the community to uh, spread the word about 10X. So this is the video in the article. Uh, I'll link the article below uh, if you guys want to check it out. All right, so for the next thing, um, Paul, one of their members, was at the Product Hunt Singapore meetup to talk about their product design, UI, UX, and development journey. So they uh, he met up with uh, like-minded people with product, product focus and um, just tech community to reach out to them and talk about crypto and how to share with them, uh, shared with them uh, building the product with the community. So this is a good thing to see as uh, 10x uh, representatives are going out to talk about 10x, what their product is, and um, w which side of the tech they are in, and how they are um, incorporating community along with the product. So th that is something that I like to see and something that I like about 10x that uh, they actively reach out to the community to see what the product offers to them and why they should um, look into the product. So that was the meetup they, they did. And another highlight for this week was that Jax was adding support for pay tokens in their popular wallet app for multiple devices. So there, this is a pretty popular wallet, Jax wallet, and it has some uh, multi uh, crypto features in it. And now you can store your pay tokens in Jax. So this is a good news for uh, Jax wallet holders because you can now store it pay tokens in it and once the dividend feature will uh once the dividend feature is hit then uh you guys will be able to get the dividends in the wallet instead of keeping it in the exchange and getting nothing so that's a pretty good news a good update also they uploaded their core values of the 10x team they said uh we also shared our 10x team core values and our culture talk a little about it in the latest vlog as well check it out if you haven't yet so there's a link to the vlog uh, you guys can check that out and let's go through a couple of the core values so team we win as a team so own your role take charge of the desired outcomes and be accountable of the results so teamwork so i'm possible there's always a way find or create it focus and high standards if it's not a hell yeah it's a no <laughs> They, they incorporate some uh, comedic stuff in here. Create raving fans. Make our customers, team members, partners so devoted to our products and services that they wouldn't dream of going elsewhere. We'll sing for the rooftop about just how good we are. Create raving fans. This is, a, this is the important value because um, you want to have supportive community around your product. And I think... With 10x, um, they have come out with a lot of stuff, but with more news and more updates coming up and more products coming out, I think this will drive the fans to their uh, product. Create fun and weirdness. Don't take yourself too seriously. Stay humble. Be open-minded. Know that you don't know it all. Listen and learn. Think. Don't flow follow blindly. You are not a lemming. <laughs> So these are some uh, funny stuff, but actually really good core values for a team because um, it shows that um, this is the values that they follow by. And I think all of these are pretty cool and that it will drive the team to just uh, have a better product, especially, um, yeah, creating rating fans, of course, high standards for the team. And they put team first because uh, without the team, there's nothing. There's not a single individual just by himself, but as a team, they're working on this product. And each individual of the team has its own roles. And I think uh, through that, they'll make a great, great um, crypto card. And there are some quick updates on the product side of the things over here. The iOS app, the version 0.3 submitted to App Store really soon. 
uh, QA and fixing issues reported by testers and community, fix performance issues, fix se session token expired, enhance app UI and UX. So they're updating the iOS app for 10x. So that's a good news. So for uh, Apple holders, you can uh, definitely uh, be waiting for that. For the web app, still working on bug fixes and feature requests. SMS login, allow changing of emails, update validation rules, continue work on the backend admin panel, redesign and feature, and so forth. <clears throat> so for web app, I'll be actually interested in this because once they come out with the web app, uh, I'll be, um, if it's a wallet, then I'll probably try storing it in the wallet. Uh, but I mean, right now, uh, there is a wallet called My Ether Wallet, I think. Yeah, and that one's a um, recommended wallet by the team. So maybe I'll just keep it in there, but I'm excited for not to come. Android app, completed KYC information, uploaded from camera with preview, and still working on modifying phone number functionality, UI bug fixes, uh, revamp, splash screen, and sign up login screen work on now. So this is gonna be huge because once the Android app comes out, there's gonna be a huge follow of people that can actually use the app with the card. So this is going to be a good update. ETH ERC20 dash stability integration completed internal testing round. Oh, nice. So they had the internal testing round and they finished that working, making, uh, working on making ETH and ERC20 more scalable and robust gradual rollout of ETH activation to a bigger group of users more to come in in the coming weeks. All right, so more integration of FERC20 Dash, and I'm uh, guessing that this is going to be more of the Comet Network side where um, just the exchange between the tokens and the, uh, what do you call it? The cryptocurrencies will be more uh, smooth. And also you guys could check them on uh, other social medias like Slack, Facebook, Twitter, subreddit, or YouTube. Uh, they update themselves pretty uh, frequently in YouTube and Reddit and other platforms as well. So definitely check them out. Yeah, so that is going to be it for today. If you guys want to support the channel, uh, check out the affiliate links below. And as always, I'll be back with more deals on Daily Deals with Tim.